Okay, so what I'm showing you here is the new expansion jacks uh, that are on our block controller. Uh, in addition to the MIDI in, MIDI out, and USB jacks that traditionally are included on the block controller, we've added these expansion jacks to allow you to expand your block um, way beyond uh, the capabilities of the built-in controls. Right here you have two quarter inch jacks uh, which allow you to connect foot pedals like this Roland foot pedal I have here. And you can also use them to connect any other kind of analog device uh, like a potentiometer or a, a fader or a sensor um, so you can have additional control. And then we've built in these cool little uh, pin headers here. So this allows you to connect eight more analog devices uh, and you can turn them on and off with these dip switches back here. The nice thing about that is you can easily add something like, I have these eight faders here, uh, which are from our uh, BYOB series, our builder series uh, slide um, circuit boards and uh, slide potentiometers, and I've wired these up, it's fairly easy, connected them with a single uh, ribbon cable, so for about $25 I've just added eight more faders to my block control. Um, so really it acts like a brain. Um, but instead of 64 analogs, I'm, I'm only uh, connecting uh, 8 analogs here. So I'll give you a quick demo on, on my live set uh, and how I have this set up. Uh, really, you can use this with any software. It's just standard MIDI stuff. You can use it with Traktor. Um, you can use it with uh, Reason. You can use it with uh, VJ Softwares, uh, or Chaos, or Cell DNA. Uh, pretty much anything that you can use a MIDI controller for, you can use these expansion jacks for. So. In my set here, I'm going to turn it up a bit, I have these controlling, these are controlling each of my eight tracks. And this I have controlling a, uh, one of my devices, and the device is in the master track. Obviously, I'd be controlling this with my foot, uh, not my hand. I mean, you could control it with your hand, but... So the cool thing about this is I could have two of these uh, connected. I could be controlling them with my feet. I could be launching clips with my hand here. And then I have other analog devices here that I could be using. So it really expands the possibilities. Um, and it's not, again, it's not limited to the controls you see here. Pretty much anything uh, that you wanted to use, uh, you could, uh, that you would use with our brain, you could use for this. So. Uh, like a soft touch uh, potentiometer, um, a motion sensor, IR sensor, um, anything that um, you would normally wire up as a control device, you can wire up to our, our block and really use the block as a uh, do-it-yourself uh, starting point. So you have your main controller here and then you're adding uh, more controls uh, to suit your needs.